Yeah, if you take away the nerddom of it all and the fucking content houses, like, just get to the point of it. Somebody got groped while they were asleep, and people who had some power basically tried to cover it up. That's the non-nerd version. But the reason why it needs all this attention because all the personalities surrounding it are nerds. And it's like high school. It's like, it feels like high school. Okay. Like, that's what Twitch is. Yes. Twitch is, 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 like, is like high school, but with uh, nerds. porn stars and virgins. <laughs> That's what, it's, it's, that's what it's it is. That's what it is. Where, it's where the promo stars and versions collide. Yes, that's funny. That's what it is. That's what Twitch is. That's okay? funny. So if you guys aren't aware, Twitch right now is imploding. Okay, <laughs> they've had issues about race. They've had issues with gambling, and now their latest one. Some of their biggest content creator uh, and, and the creator house have been covering up what appears to be some sexual, you know what I mean? Some groping. Okay. <laughs> Some sexual what? Some some sexual, you know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> and that, that that's literally what happened. Okay, that's what we had to work. Okay, you know. But for this chapter specifically, it involves a few content creators and some of the biggest one, one being Miss Kiff. All right, who's one of the biggest content creators? He runs a a content home called OTK along with Asmund Gold, and uh, there's a lady named Maya, and then there's another creator named Crazy Slick, and lastly, okay. The one who deserves the most amount of sympathy and no laughter from you, stop, is Adriana Lee. <laughs> stop. Bro, you got to take more, this the more, the more you say stop, the more I'm going to stop saying stop. Stop. I'll try. I'll try. I'll I try. think it's important to learn how to say stop and for you to listen. <laughs> even, even, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even, even, even you. Right, even, yeah. Yeah, yeah but we've been knowing I'm problematic. Your purple bandana wearing ass, we weren't sure about. I just want to let them know we in the same boat. It really is. I wouldn't preach. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is what happened. Let's get straight to it, okay? They have a. Uh, these are all streamers. They run a content home. They're all part of the same home. Uh, she, Adriana Lee, is a young 20 year old woman who moves to Austin to be part of this content home. I think at the time she might have been 18 when she moved at the time of this incident. Um, there's a party. At the house, she goes there. She, I guess she drinks or something. She passes. She falls asleep on the bed. Um, there's a bunch of folks around, and this guy, Crazy Slick, comes in, and you know he'd been hounding her the whole night, but she wasn't really down. And then while she was asleep, apparently, allegedly, according to multiple witnesses, he went and he grabbed her titty. This comes out after the fact. She finds out, and then this guy is denying it. He claims that he was checking her pulse. Okay. <laughs> This man, this man said he was checking her pulse. <laughs> didn't go for the wrist, didn't go for the neck. He said, yo, where her titties at? And I get it. Sometimes when I administer CPR, I go straight for the vagina. We all do things differently, okay? <laughs> he went for the titty to go check the CPR. That's what his claim was. <laughs> and then afterwards, now they're saying, now he's saying, no, actually, I never, I only went for her wrist and her neck, but multiple witnesses saw her go for the titties. Saw him, I. Yes. Okay. Maya, mm -hmm. who helps run the home, as well as Miss Kiff, um, they found out about the whole thing and basically they told Adriana, like, listen, don't make it a big thing. Keep it under wraps. Like, hush, hush. You know, let's keep it a little bit. That's all we deal. This is Miss Kiff himself speaking on the whole issue at the time it happened, okay? Like, he, he streamed today at 10 in the morning and I bet you he wasn't gonna. He, he got up for 30 minutes, oh. came downstairs and went back down. Like, he does not hang out, dude. I haven't seen him in four days. I don't like to be alone all day. What's so slick? What's slick being busy with? Being severely depressed. I mean, he, he's been sleeping for 15 hours a day. So this is him. He's on stream right now. He's upset that he can't play with Crazy Slick because he was being talked to at the time. And so this is what he said about his thoughts. Miss I told him, I'm like, look, you didn't rip anybody. You know, it's one thing. He didn't do anything. And like people make it seem like he did. When people like think of it, they think that he stuck his fucking inside her. I, I don't think there's a single person that we used to hang out with that doesn't hang out with Slick anymore because of what happened. I actually think there's literally none. Because the reality is, worst comes to worst of it, it's fucking like sexual harassment, right? I mean, like, who get, like, I mean, like, who get, like, I mean, like, who get. Go he was about to say, who the fuck cares? He was gonna say that, right? He was about to say He wasn't. Go, go ahead, talk that. Talk, talk that shit. He go was ahead. about to say that. Who the fuck. And then he dialed uh, back, yeah. rephrasing something else. I don't think people really care. Just something that sounds better. Uh, he doesn't give a fuck. No one, it, it, of what you can deem of it, it's sexual harassment, whatever. At a low scale, it's not really a big deal. When I hear the guy say, 
Oh man, I'm so sad. I can't play with Crazy Slick. I miss playing video games with my buddy. This that, is fucking bullshit. That's high school. Uh, that's, uh, that's it's not like he put his penis inside her. He's just, he just grabbed her. I don't know what the fuck is wrong in your head, bro. Yeah. I would literally never keep a friend who's out here groping people in their sleep. I don't know what kind of fucking loser you are. Okay, where you're not only be okay with this behavior from people you consider friends, but you're also actively trying to defend. You're a fucking loser. You're a fucking loser. Okay, if you were at least trying to work it out with him and figure it out, but don't try to downplay it. You get what I'm trying to say? Don't try to downplay it. The bitch is unconscious. What you talking about? That's crazy. That's crazy. No, you can't. Be Listen, if a dude sent an awkward DM or sends like a flirty message, that that's fine. She's unconscious and you out here groping her. And the fact that he lying and doing all this defending, you best believe it's not this first time doing weird shit. Yeah. This video is brought to you by Surfshark. Hey, sometimes you want to watch certain videos from other countries and you can because your country is not allowed. Hmm. I know. Well, you need to get yourself a VPN changer. A VPN changer is something that's going to change the location of your computer. I'm from Canada and our Netflix is nice, but it's not like the US Netflix or the UK Netflix or any Netflix, no, or any Netflix around the world. And sometimes I want to be able to enjoy that content. Well, I just teleport my computer with the VPN changer wherever I want it to be and I can enjoy whatever content I want. And now, now if you if you, you go on the link below, uh, you use the code Abba and Preach, you're going to be able to save 83% and have three first month for free. I know. I know. Go right now. Click on the link below and, you know, let your computer travel. And you will enjoy all the content that you want. Okay, and then what happened? I mean, it's still unfolding. I mean, you know, some of them came out with statements. Some of them said nothing. One of the co-organizers... Because um, Crazy Slick, the one who did the groping, he came out and said... Allegedly. I would say allegedly normally. The problem is even the people who are defending him said, no, he definitely put his hands on her. Crazy Slick is like, I was just checking her pulse. I was checking her wrist. Even his friends who are defending him are like, listen, what he did was clearly wrong. He obviously... So, you get what I'm trying to say? He came out and said that, and then he deleted his tweet. He said, uh, originally, he said, oh, Johnny Depp, uh, don't believe these women. The same way you guys shouldn't have believed Amber Heard against Johnny Depp. Like, he tried to make it a whole thing. And so, the other owner of OTK, the house, he came out. Fair. No, you didn't, you lying fucking piece of shit. You never got accused of rape. This is unfair. I'll be getting a lawyer as soon as possible. Learn from the Johnny Depp situation and think first. Last time I fucking checked is you still all have all ten fingers, slick. What the fuck are you doing sitting around talking about Johnny Depp? You're going to use his fucking problem, his thing where he lost his fucking finger. He's got uh, marks on him everywhere. He's got uh, 10 years of a charges with different witnesses and other people coming in over and over and over and you have the fucking audacity to go in and use his example to cover up for your slimy fucking bullshit i don't give a fuck whether you touched her on the chest or not you're a creepy fucking piece of shit that uses your friends to go and use act as a gatekeeper to keep people out so you can allow yourself to be fucking abusive i fucking hate you i hope you die I hope you fucking die. God damn. I do know some shamans in Africa who do voodoo, if you're really interested in that kind of behavior. Yeah, if you take away the nerddom of it all and the fucking content houses, like, just get to the point of it. Somebody got groped while they were asleep, and people who had some power basically tried to cover it up. That's the non-nerd version. What should happen to that slick guy? Well, I mean, listen, as far as punishment goes, that's a tough one to say. But yeah. what he did was obviously criminal. Yep. But it's too late to prosecute that now, probably. I think what is really telling, though. Why is it too late? Is that it happened when? Two, two, two years ago? That's what Unless he admits to it, like, it's a very difficult thing. And maybe you can. I don't think she's going to. Because even if you do, like, what's the worst? Community service? Yeah. It's a lot of work. All this to say. One thing I've noticed, at least watching this uh, Twitch stuff from outside, or just th all these kinds of things is like these content houses, these kinds of places where creatives and people and power exist. You know, people talk about Hollywood and how gross it is, but you recognize that the same things that lead to Hollywood being gross are the same thing that leads to most power structures being gross. Yeah. 
You get what I'm trying to say? This is the Hollywood. We really look at that uh, at that Hollywood. We really everyone watches movies. We're really obsessed with Hollywood. You know, because I mean? everyone but, watches movies. Yeah, it's, but that it's, shit yeah. happens everywhere. Whether yeah. it's in school, whether it's normal nine to five, seven eleven, whatever, whatnot. That shit happens all the time. I'm glad that I do what I do on YouTube. I would not want to be in an environment like Twitch. I would not want to body but buddy up. Like you think about it, our come up. We didn't have to do a single collab with anybody the entire time. We didn't get shout outs from big creators. We didn't get no love. We didn't get no growth. Nothing. And you know what? Even though some people had some stuff to say along the way, it really didn't matter because we could have just kept going without it and they could keep keep growing without us. So that's the beauty of being on this platform as compared to other ones. But we still don't need to make... We really make collabs because we feel like it. Yeah. Or it's, or people, most of the, that we, it's people that we were down with. Or people that are like, oh, no, I'm cool with that person. We spoke a couple of times. Yeah, sure, let's go Let's go do that. Or that yeah. would be interesting. But it's not like a... Because Twitch is like OnlyFans. What do you mean? Which means that sometimes you got to... Like, whenever those are make that kind of content on, on OnlyPans... Uh, Did you say OnlyPans? I thought you were going to say, Twitch is kind of like OnlyFans. Sometimes you got to get, sometimes you got to bend over to get ahead. <laughs> that's that's not say. what I was about to say, but I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, man, that's just weird. Bro. You're not wrong. So in OnlyFans, the thing that happens is that sometimes you need to collab with other people that do that sure, and do sure. that to get ahead and this, that. So you get some of their content creators and they get some mm -hmm. of the other, you know what I mean? So it's kind of that. That's why I say that it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Whereas, nah, you don't, you don't over here. You could do your merry thing and then yeah. do your thing in your niche, you know what I mean? And you know what I think also is a thing? What? Is a lot of the dudes that make it on Twitch, and I think why they always have a lot of these scandals, is a lot of the dudes that make it on Twitch are socially awkward retards who have no idea how to act around people and have never really had attention. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden you're getting attention but have zero people skills, and all of a sudden you're trying to figure out how to navigate these spaces. I'm not yeah, saying this yeah. makes it okay or whatever. That's not my point. This my point is, poor. yeah. Yeah. Doesn't mean yeah. That, yeah. Doesn't mean that you have to write. Like, you never learn how to act. You never learn how to fucking behave. Oh. And and this is just a tip of the iceberg because a lot of weirdos doing a lot of this shit on a smaller and larger scale. You guys just ain't heard the stories yet. Mm. So me watching this unfold, it's like sounds like a cesspool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are like yo, when are you gonna get on Twitch? I'm like, bitch, never. I think is you be good on Twitch. I just can't be. But I don't think you'd that. have this. Uh, the stamina to, the, to, to the, stream the yeah no. you wouldn't have the no. not the moral stamina but the It'd emotional be bad for stamina. me bro It'd yes I, I like a balanced life i already do youtube and stuff i'm not interested in doing any of this shit but on the outside watching in it's kind of cool for me because i think i hate the platform just because of like a lot of its political stances and the way it kind of just backs a bunch of losers uh. you know and so just seeing the fact that you know like they here's an example it's like these people will go out of their way to prop up a bunch of like trash behavior having creators like Hasanabi or yeah. Mizkif, right? Yeah. At the same time, their biggest creator on the platform right now is Kai Sinet, the young black kid who um, we covered a while back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. this is a separate time. I'll probably cover this another time. But I don't know. I just hate the platform and what it stands for and how it's really operated over time. And so for me to see it employed from the outside, I'm like, good. You know what I'm saying? Good. Good. Maybe if you built a better ecosystem that wasn't just so funneled into having just a few content creators be the biggest voices and owning everything, you might have some more diversity of thought. You might have more people who are open to sharing their opinions all the time and then also calling out shit that's inappropriate. And then I think that would create for a better world. But I think but, that's but, what, but I because think... you've like shut down a lot of that growth and just made it one dimensional in a lot of ways, people have to go through these content houses. People have to do a lot of the bullshit in order to get up. They don't have to. It's a strong word, but very strongly are much more incentivized to do so. Whereas on YouTube, it's like, if you want to avoid a lot of that bullshit, you can. Yeah. You can. And, I, and I'm grateful for that. Because I'll be honest with you, I would not be here today if YouTube ran itself like Twitch does. There's no way I would have done it. Not a fucking chance. You know, as a platform, I hope it dies. But that's my thoughts. This man really out here defending the fact that his homie was groping women while yeah, they were unconscious. And that's fine. So what do you think? That's not something that you do. Okay. That's... What? I even have to comment on that? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Like, what do you think? Like, it's the obvious. It's it's, it's obvious. Like, someone is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm baffled by the question, really. Yeah. Like, she's just there. And that's, that's the thing. It's the whole setting. You try... Everybody saw you trying to get at her the whole party. The whole party. Everybody tried... They, they saw you. Man, what's up, girl? What's up, girl? And she's like, no, 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 no. And then you're going to go... Argh! And then you think it's all good while she's sleeping? Yeah.